Deadpool short movie review. Wade Wilson is a former Special Forces operative. He is now basically just, you know, lending his services to help, you know, people in this, you know, urban area that he lives. You know, the first thing we see him do is deal with a stalker. And it's not even that the girl could pay him that much for the, yeah. And when he has, you know, Lawrence, he's developed cancer, he volunteers for this experiment that can give him superpowers, but it, it turns him very unattractive and he yeah he tries to hunt down the man in charge of the experiments Ajax who you know seemed to have a a a way to reverse the appearance stuff and it's basically a revenge film revenge film for from both sides really it's a very straightforward plot, but that allows the, the film to play around with other elements because we're never really, we, we never lose track of where the, what's going on with the story and such. So, yeah, instead, it, it gives them a lot of room to play around with a lot of other elements. This is scripted by the Zombieland script writers, and like that, if I recall it correctly, and... Yeah, I haven't thought about that movie much since I watched it. Basically, yeah, you know, it it puts in and plays around with the tropes of the genre. This is very much an R-rated movie, and it, you know, it needed to be, and it uses the fact that it is. A, you know, there's constantly... <sighs> it's especially the language. They, they come up with some tremendously creative and incredibly offensive just descriptions of things or stories that they're passing off as truth and stuff. The titular Deadpool himself is incredibly acrobatic. He wields dual desert eagles, dual katanas, and he can heal pretty much anything. So he can stroll casually through life or death situations and he does this in part just to have fun because he's not gonna get hurt anyway. Thankfully, him having fun is contagious. The the movie Deadpool's wit and really also his character's romantic partner's wit is very much this you know con full of pop culture references and just non-stop commenting on everything and yeah it's it's a lot of fun it's it's the kind of thing where he is supposed to be irritating and there are going to be people who won't be able to stand him but they they keep it to the right level you know you as the viewer again some will but you probably won't be really irritated by him. It will, you know, it will come, you know, it will come across why people are irritated by him, but it's still, you know, it it is a film that can, you know, that can be enjoyed by a, a large audience. But it is also, you know, it has a very dark, twisted sense of humor and, yeah, you know, a deadly cancer and it's, it's, it, it goes to some really dark places and still has fun. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.